Hey YouTube, welcome back to another Punching Grey Raven video. Today we're going to be looking at A-Rank Sophia. We're going to be checking out some of her abilities, how they work. So also be going over some team comps that she's good with. A good overall tanky support set and also a DPS memory set if you want to run her as a DPS. And lastly, we'll be checking out her six-star weapon and the skins that she'll be getting on release. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right now, so A-Rank Sophia is a bit unique, kind of a healer. She built up this bar with these energy orbs that she drops that would also heals you and gives her a buff increase to her damage. And it all pretty much revolves around her her core passive drop one energy orb when Sophia performs the last sequence of a basic attack a three orb combo ultimate or a QTE when picking up energy orbs will heal around 20% of Sophia's attack and give a fire damage increase of 10% for five seconds Sophia does gain 4% energy and 75 heat whenever an orb is retrieved gains 5% 10% to 50% additional attack when heat value surpasses 0, 120. And basically the heat will be this little bar that she gets at the bottom. You're gonna wanna try to build that up as best as you can. And you wanna try to keep around a 70 to 80% of that bar up most of the time when you're using her, if you're gonna have her out on the field. Pretty much all of her three orb combo or every time she does the last sequence of her basic attack, she will drop another one of those orbs when she performs the QT and when she performs her ultimate. You're gonna be able to pretty much build up that bar pretty fast. And the higher you get into like the SS and SS plus that whole uh, combination you're going to go through with her attacks to, to gain higher orbs to increase her attack even further will be a lot faster and you'll be spamming her alt a lot quicker too as you can pretty much see her kit is going to be healing plus buffing of fire damage and to go over her ultimate she gains energy and fire for 200% of fire damage constantly drawing nearby enemies in and dealing 20% fire damage each time and it'll also explode for 600% fire damage at the end and also does drop two energy orbs so that's pretty good so yeah again you can see her kit's pretty unique as a, as a healer and now if we jump into some team comps that we can do with uh, a rank sophia Alrighty, as you can probably guess it the best team for her would be the obviously a fire team and with sophia added into the game it will be finally a full team of fire units a rank sophia will be the healer on the fire team as carolina will be the fire dps and s nonomy would be preferred tank as well and these characters would be the best for the fire team. If you don't have S Karina, my recommendation, you can always put on a rank Lee onto that, that slot. And if you don't have S Nanami, uh, you can pretty much use any tank into her section. And then I would just run your fire team like that for now until you're able to acquire some of the S ranks in the future, if that's something you are focusing on. And again, if you wanted to use Sophia as your main fire DPS, I, do, I will be covering a memory set that you can run, you, then you can run her as a main DPS. And now on to the memory set. For the first memory set combination I do recommend is running a four piece Guinevere set with the two piece active giving you heals for 10% more and also increases elemental damage and resistance of the healing target by 10% for five seconds. And that does also have an eight second cooldown. And for the four piece set on that, recharges the drone when healing after fully recharged. The next healing will use up all the energy and summon an elemental drone. That healing drone will automatically follow the teammate with the lowest HP within a circle of five meters. The drone continues to heal the teammates for 2% of their maximum HP per second and increases their elemental attack by 15% for five seconds. And that also does have a cooldown of 12 seconds and for the two piece i do recommend to go with the four piece guinevere would be two piece of da vinci and when you have the two piece active of the da vinci when a qte is triggered the contract on the field gains a 10 percent and a 20 percent defense increase for eight seconds and this kind of setup would be more of your supportive flash tank version of member set that you can run on her while she's out on the field we should be obviously getting more attack more defense increase and more elemental damage and personally, I do feel like the set with Sophia run really, really, really good with her. Um, you can also take off the Da Vinci if you really want to and can run the two-piece Cody if you wanted to spam her alt a little bit more, which that is also a good good combination. And then now onto the DPS version of a memory set for her. For the four-piece memory set for the DPS version of Sophia, I do recommend a full four-piece Shakespeare set, which is two-piece active, all attack is increased by 3% and fire damage is increased by 7%. And for the four-piece, when that is active, attacks have a 50% chance to inflict a burn status for five seconds. When attacking an enemy with the, with the burn status, there's a 20% chance to cause an explosion, dealing 100% fire damage for 5 seconds on a, on a 5 second cooldown. The burn reduces the target's fire resistance by 8% and deals 12% fire damage per second. And that can be stacked up 3 times. This is the best fire main DPS set. In general, on most fire DPS characters in the game right now, you want to run this 4-piece Shakespeare set. And if you want to complement it, you can also run the 2-piece Cody set, which ultimate use a lot faster and that will increase her damage on her bar faster as well. You're gonna be throwing down a lot more of those, those heal slash buff orbs all over the place. Again, this is the DPS memory combination set I do recommend for Sophia. All right, now for Sophia's six star weapon, the damage value on it will be 436 at max, and the crit will be two, 244. And the skill one on it, all damage is increased by 3% for every orb you pick up. Stacks up to five times. After picking up five orbs, you do gain an additional skill orb 
and 10% energy. And that will be on a 10 second cooldown. So you can see obviously her six star signature weapon will complement how her skills work. All right, and lastly, now if we check out her skins, and this is how her base form is gonna look at Max Awakening, which personally, I do think this one looks the best one on her out of the other two sets. And uh, for the first alternative set, you'll have this black on orange kind of coating on her. Uh, this one is the second best one in my opinion. The orange on her shirt does match her eyes, which I do like that and the little clips in her hair. And then the last one will be this generic just t-shirt kind of skin and she has like a little gear on it. It's okay. Uh, again, this is my least favorite skin on her. Me personally, wouldn't I wouldn't be acquiring it. But if you do like it, all the power to you. Get whatever skin you like. Play the game how you like it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise because then the game's not fun. But again, I do think this one looks uh, the best on her. And uh, I'll probably be rocking this most of the time when using her. Okay, so that was pretty much everything I did have to go over Sophia. I did go over her memory sets, a team comp, her, her skills and abilities. Also looked at her weapon and skins. If you guys did find the video informational and helpful, I, I would appreciate a like, subscribe. That would help with the channel a lot. And I'll see all of you in the next Punishing Greater Raven video. Peace.